It's another one. Oh, where are you? I can't see. No, don't kill me. Oh. Oh, God, guys, we might die. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, we are back, and uh, I'm excited. In this next episode, or we are going to travel through our portal here. But first off, I totally forgot that in the last episode, me being all tired and it being very, very late for... Uh, this release that I didn't show you guys off the house I mean come on guys I should have showed you the house so one thing I was learning is that a uh, it's good to have even numbers in Pixar because the doors and windows are too wide and uh, yeah so that's a very nice thing to know I wish I would have known that when I was planning originally but anyway this is just a starter home it's for us to start out in yeah this is our home it's a little small, but it's a starter house, so what do you expect, people? It's all good, though. So, yeah, very nice house. We got a couple of chests to store things. I got our blocky type guys here. We got a little clay, a little dirt. We got our other resources stored away in here. And uh, I went ahead between the episode and made a water bag. Yes, water bag. It says it's empty, but it's actually full and slowly leaking because that's what those water bags do. So yeah, I want to go on an adventure today, see what kind of trouble we can get into. But uh, yeah, first off, let's see. I want to go through this portal, and if we don't die miserably when we go through there, I want to try traveling to the red uh, obelisk and see what we can find over there. So anyway, let's see what we can find when we transport to the animal museum. You can't carry animals. Oh, okay, I have to get rid of my guy. Uh, have a good time, Peter. Uh, you guys be safe. Don't die. All right, let's travel to the animal museum. What? 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 Where? Where am I? You're cold. You should find some warmth. Uh. What? 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 Oh, what? Uh, okay. This is a magical, magical world. Way above the land. So what does this do? Let's see. Show information. Uh, what was I showing? I don't know. Hide information? Uh, anyway, so we can get rid of it, let's go ahead and do our level up here. We will, hmm, what to put our stuff into? Let's do another point of fortitude. Uh, one thing I did between episodes as well is I crafted some meat so we'd have some food for our journey. What are you? Show information? Okay, not sure what that does. Let's go ahead and follow this path down and see what we can get into. So, yeah, I uh, haven't said it yet, but I hope you guys are having a great day. My day is going quite well. It's still early morning on the first day of Pixar, and uh, I'm doing this for you guys. And because I've been looking forward to this game for a very long time, and yeah, I, uh, I want to get something out to you as soon as possible, because I wasn't lucky enough to get a key right away. Okay, cool. So let's start here, I guess. Go up this guy. I'm breathing very hard as I run. Oh, wow. Can we gather things? Uh, let's see. Can I... Doesn't appear we can gather things in the Dino Museum. It also appears safe. So we shouldn't have to worry about... Oops, I just drank all my water. Oopsie daisy. Okay, anyway. Hello, are you a, a copy? You look kind of ugly. Okay. So it's like dinos that have turned to stone. Interesting. Wow, look at that thing. That is... That's, that's cool. Actually, while we're here, I want to... Let's see, get rid of you. Go to K. Oh, look at that. That is that is so sweet. I like the look of that. I'm sorry. I had to just take a screenshot because that's pretty That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a stone T-Rex. We got to go to that one next. So I guess we're going to go uh, clockwise then. Okay. Anyway, let's see here. So Brontos, one thing I was saying is that 
A Bronto looks to be a passive tame, but you have to be level 70 to tame them. So we'll have to wait. Oh, giant gorilla. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh, wild. Dodos are wildly considered... Oh, wow, this is cool. You hover over them, and you can see the information of this guy. Diet, tree fruit, age, when extinct, the age of sale, era, the Maritus. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. This is so interesting. Okay, that's how you can return to the museum. Oh, what? A tree? Frigid tree. Huh. Interesting. It even tells you what trees are. Oh, big ear rabbit. Mammal, herbivore, in all ages. Habitat, Japan. Big ear rabbit are huge and docile. They grow very fast. I didn't know that big rabbits actually existed. That's cool. What do we got over here? Ooh, this looks like a creepy swamp area. What are you? Oh, you look like a zombie. I have heard about your kind in this game. Oh my gosh. This is cool. This is definitely a cool place that you can come. It's a lot better than just like a, an arc where you have your, uh, what do you call them? Where you just pull them up and like, you know, in your main screen, you can pull up the uh, dossiers. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. You, you can pull up the dossiers on the eight creatures. You come to the animal museum instead and you can actually view like stone statues of things in their natural habitats very very cool well I think I'm going to go ahead and run over to a more interesting section oh looks like here's a way to get to it right here we're entering the giant gorilla sanctuary hello I'm glad you're stone one day I hope I can ride something like you I hope you don't murder my face off first though okay so this is just the area of the giant gorilla okay Let's go ahead and run down. I'm going to head over to that T-Rex, and I'll be back when I uh, get to him. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I decided I'd stop here, because this looks like it shows you all the different types of blocks in the game. And I have a feeling that uh, this is actually in the order they appear in the world. Like, the ground is probably lava, and then you have things that look like diamonds, and it just heads up with uh, the different types of rocks as you head up there. That's cool, it, uh, and it's probably maybe depicts the height of the world I'm not sure I guess we'll find out eventually oh sapphire it shows you what the different types of stones are lava oh very cool well anyway we want to go head over and check out a uh, giant stone t-rex oh yeah what do you got over here you look like a giant crazy kangaroo are you the kangaroo guy I can't remember any of these names. It's been a while since I've been on Ark. Because I want to be fresh for this game. Hey there, T-Rex. Oh, look at you. I want one of you very, very soon. Yes, I do. Okay. What's over here? Is this a magic land? This looks like a magical land. Are you a fairy? You Oh, you look like some kind of fairy thing. I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. Well, all these things are things we have not seen before. And I can't even tell what some of these things are. But they look very cool. You look like... Oh, you're some kind of dragon. Oh, I want one of you. I Seriously, guys, I'm going to have to have all the things. Because, yeah, we are going to be dino collectors in this game. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to show much more of this. Just because... I don't want to spend too much time here when we could be doing other things. But yeah, I thought it would be cool to come here and see what this is. Let's go ahead and head back up here up top so we can get back to our house. Okay, I see. has the different types of blocks here. And we're heading up. And it shows you where they go. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well... Oh, that's a water block. I get it. Those things are actually showing up now. Uh, snow block. Okay, very cool. Well, let's go ahead and return home. 
Okay, we're home. I uh, just came through the portal, and it looks like it's made me starving. So, yeah, I'm just eating a little bit real quick. Mmm, delicious meats. I'm glad I made that meat. So that we can eat our meat. Hey, guys. I want a flyer so bad, but it looks like we don't have bows unlocked till level 15, which we're level 13 right now, actually. So maybe we'll try doing that soon. I don't know about this episode. Uh, maybe when we get onto our actual server, we will do that. Uh, fly, my friend. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and go for our journey to the Red Obelisk. I'm a little worried about crossing the water. I wouldn't want to get the Slip Gator Award for dying to a Mega Piranha. But uh, let's jump into it, see what the... Uh, Oh, that's an it itty. Are there mega piranhas? The water looks very cool under here. Oh, there's piranhas over there. Okay, let's just try to get across the water before anybody sees us and decides to eat our face off. Okay. So far, so good. Nothing has tried to eat us yet. Looks like we're getting into a cold area, though. Okay, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a climb. So, yeah, I don't remember if I said it, but it's worth saying over and over and over and over again. But I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. And I hope you're enjoying Pixar, because this game is magnificent. Okay, uh, let's make sure we go back to our spear. Because we could be in for some big trouble soon. But of course, if we find a T-Rex, there's nothing stopping that thing from just eating our face off miserably. What's... Oh, God. Oh, I don't even know what's hitting me. Oh, 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 what are you? Oh, what are you? Ice Dragon. What the crap? Oh, we survived. Oh, that looks like something dangerous. Oh god, it's another one. It's another one. Oh, where are you? I can't see. No, don't kill me. Oh. Oh god, guys, we might die. Uh, eat, 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 eat quick. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Those things sneak up on you real quick, don't they? Oh, it's an icy cave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wolf, can you get me, Wolf? You can't get me, I hope, right? Ah, uh, that pterodon is scaring the crap out of me. Looks like a giganto over there that was fighting something. And that, oh, another giganto. So cool. Oh, yeah. Female dire wolf level 14. Hey there, little girl. You can't get me, can you? Ha <laughs> ha, you can't get me. Well, I'm a little scared about going over here now. Uh, I hope we don't lose everything and die a miserable death. Oh, ancient lotus. Ugh. Uh, I'm going to give you a wide berth. Because I don't know if you're dangerous. That's probably what the museum's for, to help you find out if something's dangerous or not. Oh great, it's uh, night time. That's always great. Alright, we're just going to climb up this hill. Hello, little giganto. Is that another one of those ice dragon things? Those things are scary. They come up on you like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Are we... Are we there? It doesn't feel like we're there. Oh god. Uh, uh, okay, I don't want to... Okay? There's nothing underneath it. I was expecting the usual when you get to an obelisk, but maybe I guess there's nothing here? Okay. Well, any... Oh! Oh! Quetzal! Giant Quetzal! Oh my gosh, so many things. It's like an overload of stuff, and I'm having a hard time jumping. It's like a stuff overload. We're seeing so many th cool things. Okay, that Quetzal's gone. 
Uh, I think our home's back yet yeah, in this direction, but I want to give that guy a wide berth. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Oh, it looks like we're hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. Probably because it's so cold up here would be my guess. Okay, let's try and get back home because this has been cool and all, but I don't want stuff to murder our face. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I, I know, I just defecated. I just pooped myself because there's a dire wolf right there. Okay, there's our home. Can we go around you? Because if that guy sees us, we're dead bagel. He will take a giant bite out of this bagel. Okay. Are we safe? Oh, so much stuff. That is... Oh, look at that view. Look at that, guys. Hold on. I just got to admire this real quick. Probably take another screenshot. That's going to happen. Oh, wow. That is so cool. So, to remove the UI, it's just backslash, like an arc. And we're going to get out of here before that guy sees us. Uh, yep. Okay. It, yeah, it looks like we survived. Unless that guy's following us. Yep, looks like we made it unscathed, guys. Hey, Pterodon. You're so cool. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to head back to the home. Maybe try to do a little bit of leveling up. Collect some resources. And see if we can't get to level 15. So I can start working on uh, getting us a bow. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, we're trying to shoot this guy. Oh, he's asleep. Oh my gosh, that was easy. Hey, guy, you're asleep. Uh, so just to let you know, all of our creatures died. I tried to, uh, an onyx came after us near our base, and I tried to kill it dead, and it decided to kill us dead instead, and okay, we need to get some meat real quick. Let's hurry and find something to eat. Oh, oh, can we get you? You look better. You, you look better. You're level 36. That was really easy, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kill <laughs> that other guy. So we can get the meat from him. Die. 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 Okay, come on. You can do it. Die. So I was trying to attack that Onyx and accidentally hit, like, three Brontos that were nearby. And they annihilated me in uh, one hit. So, yeah, it was fun. And they killed all of our dinos as well. So, yeah. One thing I've noticed is I haven't seen any dino bodies when they die. So, it seems like anything you had on them dies with them. I'm not sure if that's true. If I'm incorrect, then let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope I'm incorrect. Because, uh, yeah, that would, uh, that would suck. It would make leaving things on your creatures uh, a horrible disaster. Is that going to be enough for you? Let's see. Are you taming? Also, there are th slimes around. And I want to tell you that the slimes are pretty cool. They, uh, they give you rotten meat. Or I can't remember what it's called in this game. It's some kind of rotten meat. Okay, uh, we're gonna need some berries to keep him asleep. Give us narcos. We need narco berries. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. I wanted to bring you back while I was going to down these guys because I went ahead and got the arrows going, got sleepy arrows, which are actually quite easy to make because all you need is the narco berries to and uh, stone arrows to make them. So it's pretty nice. Also, we have a magic area up in that direction. So I found a bunch of magic things, which is pretty cool. Okay, he's taming up. It's not too bad. I mean, he's not a, a great level, but he's something, especially for a starting flyer to get us going. And he wasn't that hard. He took one shot and we took him down, which is pretty cool. I never, I didn't notice in the first episode but I do have 
slightly increased rates for the for this uh playthrough and i will have it on my other server as well i have i think it's eight times gather uh anytime i hear a flapping it scares me there's another onyx eight times gather eight times tame and i believe two times xp so uh, yeah i figured that would be pretty good i mean so far it hasn't seemed like it's op because it took a decent amount of time to build that little tiny house so yeah it seems pretty good for now okay you're doing pretty good let's try and give you where's our narco do we have do we not have any narco oh it's carry on is the spoiled milk uh meat excuse me uh, okay we have to keep looking because we didn't even get any of uh the narco berries come on give us narco berries come on i know it was really okay there's some I know it was really easy to down that guy, but I don't want to have to shoot him again. I'd like to keep him down so we can get this guy up. And one thing I've noticed is I haven't found a saddle in the Engram list for uh, uh, Cranodons. So I'm not sure if this guy requires a saddle in this game. But hopefully we'll find out very soon. Uh, remote use. Okay, come on, buddy. Be mine. Be mine very soon. All right, I'm trying to think of a good name for him. Uh, Pateri? Eh, it's always a good name. It's a classic Slip Gator name. I love me good Slip Gator names. Uh, let's see here. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and just die. Die. Yes. Yeah, we, uh, we would have had a lot more Narcos because we had a bunch of them stored on our Packy, but he's gone now. All of our friends are dead. It's very sad. So anyway, let's see here. What are we doing on this guy? All right, he's nearly done. I think I'll come back when this guy is about to tame and coming up for us. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back, and this guy is about ready to tame. Uh, it's negative 30 health, just like an arc, and we have done it. We have tamed our first Pteranodon. His name is Terry. Like so, accept it. Now, uh, okay, we do have to accept, uh, put a saddle on you. But, where do we get that? Metallurgy, let's see. Hair. Trended on saddle. Level 20. Okay. Well, that's going to have to wait, I guess, for another day. Let's see. I was really hoping we could fly. Alright. Look at him. He's so cute. Hi, Terry. You are a cute, cute guy. Okay. Oh. Welcome. Hello, Bronto. Welcome to my house. Hey, you're kind of loud. Yeah, you are. You're really, you're really loud. Okay, anyway, well, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We went on a little adventure, took, took a look, look, excuse me, at the uh, Dino Museum. We tamed our first Pteranodon. It was, uh, it wasn't that hard, actually. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all my daily videos and uh yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always don't forget to live long and prosper